What's up guys, Houndish here, and today I wanted to talk about vendors and some new loot coming in Destiny 2, new planetary materials called Dusk Light Shards, as well as this we have some new spawn animations coming in Destiny 2, some more information about shaders and exactly how they'll work, and we've got the new Zavala trailer for Destiny 2, which I'll play at the end of the video. So firstly, we've learned that there will be tokens, specifically in the European Dead Zone, we've seen EDZ tokens. We also know there will be other kind of equivalent tokens for different planets and locations in Destiny 2. But if you take this to the planetary vendor, Devrim K in the European Dead Zone, you can actually turn 10 of them in for a big boost in reputation. So it seems that that will be their kind of primary use, is that you use them to level up the faction vendor reputation for the specific planet you're on. And when you level up in the faction, you actually receive a faction reward in the form of an engram specific to that location, as opposed to it being like a faction package from Destiny 1. And right here, when they turn this package in, you can see that they get a couple of drops on screen. So we have the Wildwood Boots, as well as the Agenda 5, which appears to be some kind of Amalon weapon. As well as this, we have Dead Zone Foliage. So specific shaders, as well as armor pieces, will drop for locations. We also saw or a titan chest piece drop called the Wildwood Plate. So essentially they're kind of transferring the strike specific loot system into actual planets and spaces in Destiny 2 which is really really exciting. You can actually preview the type of loot that can drop just like we saw in Destiny 1 and we have a screenshot right here and you can see there's a full set of armor faction gear it's called. This is actually for the titan as well as a couple of shaders and then there are faction weapons and additional rewards. One of them right there is actually the icon for the crystal, which is some kind of currency coming in Destiny 2. The additional rewards also include a couple of weapons, some pretty ornate looking armor pieces right there, and even a sword. So running around in these spaces, completing missions, picking up and kind of transferring currencies will grant you some pretty awesome loot in Destiny 2. Of course, back in Destiny 1, that's not the kind of thing that we'd have seen for patrol activities, especially in the vanilla game. But up next, we have the new planetary material that you'll be able to collect in the European Dead Zone, and this is called a Dusk Light Shard. You collect it just the same way that you would with Spin Metal or anything like that. Obviously these shards specifically are probably very closely linked to the shard of the Traveler in the European Dead Zone, which I actually have something we can take a look at in a couple of moments. But these shards are redeemable items that just like the tokens can actually unlock loot, and I believe they do it through reputation as well. From the other gameplay I've seen in the European Dead Zone, these aren't anywhere near as common as, you know, spin metal or relic iron would be in Destiny 1, but equally they appear to have much greater value than they did in Destiny 1. Planetary vendors are going to be really, really exciting. Of course, we assume as well that we will have Future War called Dead Orbit and New Monarchy. So there are going to be a whole bunch of different kind of factions and vendors, both in the social spaces and on the planets themselves. Up next, we've learned that shaders can be applied to multiple different types of gear, which is pretty awesome. It looks like there is going to be a higher level of customization visually in Destiny 2. But here we have a screenshot of a character actually acquiring a shader. So it says shader acquired shaders customize the appearance of rare, legendary, and exotic gear, and it also says inside of the character screen you'll be able to view your shader inventory. So it seems like shaders of all types and kind of rarities will be generically able to be applied to all different types and rarity of gear, which is really, really exciting. From what we've seen of shaders in Destiny 2, there are some really awesome looking ones right here. We can see this Hake SMG with a kind of black and gold shader, and then also we see the Titan wearing a kind of full set of gear with the shader on as well and this stuff just looks absolutely awesome. Moving on I wanted to point out that there are some new respawn animations coming in Destiny 2. So if you look at this clip right here we have a dead warlock who actually revives and you have this almost crest like kind of thing pop up as they actually respawn and it has all the guardian crests on it and this kind of red effect that almost shatters slightly like the ornaments that we saw on some of the Wrath of the Machine gear in Destiny 1. And we see another clip of it right here. I don't actually have footage for any others, but I know there are other kind of respawn animations that people have seen. And it seems possible that we could probably pick these things up from either kind of like Eververse or even Eva Levante or 
a similar type of character that deals with kind of vanity items. I've spoken about some of the interesting things we've seen about subclasses and a possible third subclass coming in Destiny 2. I say possible, pretty much a confirmed third subclass coming in Destiny 2. But right here we have a clip of a character receiving something called a battered gauntlet and it's a titan relic with arc damage right there. So it seems like we will be attaining all of our different subclasses and abilities in a kind of similar way throughout Destiny 2 as we progress and right here it reads your lost strength is returning to you we turn to the shard in the EDZ to restore your light. So there will be some real kind of progression to actually unlocking these various subclasses and abilities and this also confirms as well as we may have expected that the European Dead Zone is really going to be kind of a key hub and is going to be very very important to our kind of progression in the game and will hopefully enable us to go and visit those other locations and kind of get deeper into the extended story as we bring the Vanguard back together. So I just wanted to point out those additional few bits of information that you guys may have missed. Some pretty awesome stuff going on in the European Dead Zone and it gives us a bit of a taste to the kind of systems and the way things will work across the full game coming in Destiny 2. Obviously this stuff looks really exciting so I'll be curious to hear what you guys think in the comment section but if you have enjoyed this video a like is very much appreciated. I mentioned earlier that I've launched a new t-shirt, the first shirt with my new kind of houndish branding on it so if you guys are interested in checking that out definitely follow the link in the description below. For now though I super appreciate you guys watching and this is the new Zavala trailer for Destiny 2. Let's get serious people. I'm on route. If we attack together, we can take back our home, or we die trying.